Hey everyone and welcome to Monday. So I'm currently out a little walk. Who little daisy mo? <laughs> Getting caught up with her, her lead there. <laughs> we have had, or shall I say I have had, quite the day today. So first of all, when it started kind of last night, kind of midnight, um, my phone that my friend gave me kind of just went a bit kaput and died on me completely which was very very annoying um, so what happened was I was just scrolling through Instagram and I looked up because I was doing like that I Love Lucy watch party thing and uh, I looked down at my phone and it was just black and it wasn't responding so I thought oh maybe it was dead so I put it on charge didn't do anything, tried to reset it, didn't do anything, so that was yesterday and today and then when I got up this morning my internet was dead, completely dead, um, like the hub was like flashing red and all this so I called BT and they were like oh it's like an area issue so you're gonna have to wait for 24 hours and it should be all fixed but they're sending me some portable thing tomorrow so I can actually use my phone and all that kind of stuff my laptop and all that so yeah that's a bit annoying one thing after the other they say it goes and freeze so I've had my camera I've had my internet and now my phone <laughs> Yeah, look at her, look at her. <laughs> this is literally my wife right now. Oh my goodness. So she's eating everything in sight and I'm just standing waiting. And my hair is a mess. Hmm. Well, this is fun. <laughs> Two billion brush stops later. <laughs> We're now finally heading home. Can we just talk about how amazing this weather is? I mean, just look at it. Look at it. It's just beautiful. I don't know if we could see this other side. It's just beautiful. I love this time of year. I love spring. Like, my favourite season is autumn, but I absolutely love spring and seeing all the, the flowers and the trees finally getting nice and green again and all looking so dead. <laughs> it's really, really nice. And obviously, this spring we've been really lucky with some nice weather. And we've had like a heat wave and today's been quite hot. It's been like 17 degrees, so not really hot, but more warm. But I ain't complaining. I mean, look at me. I'm in my Jeff Farm t-shirt and a blouse. Wearing jeans, but oh no, pretty good. <laughs> if you watch like two vlogs ago, two weekly vlogs ago, I was wearing like jumpers and jackets because it was raining. I just love the difference. And we're nearly in May now, so that means even better weather. So I am looking forward to that. Oh my God, I just, just about, I don't know if you can see that. I just about got hit by a bird. I think a baby bird weren't in a fly. 
I am now heading home with Ruby. So we just met someone on our walk and she was like making a fuss of Ruby and saying how cute she was and all that. Because at first she thought Ruby didn't like people because of her muzzle. So when I explained it was because she doesn't like dogs. She was like making a fuss of her and all this. That next thing. And then she was like, you know, saying how she normally like can, you know, get dogs to be all over and whatever, but Ruby was being all shy and quiet. So I was just like, oh yeah, she's very shy, but you wouldn't know it. <laughs> I said she'll be sure we have a week to someone else. And then I think because of him, the buzzle, they kind of just looked at Ruby and went, okay. <laughs> and yet again, ended the conversation. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I am the worst at talking to people, especially when it comes to Ruby. I seem to put my foot in it. Hey everyone, and welcome to Sunday. <laughs> Hi, go away. <laughs> Ignore the paper in the background. Basically, the paper was because of this. <laughs> Yeah, uh, that happened today. <laughs> Basically, I thought I would just, you know, write a letter to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex to congratulate them on their newborn baby. So, but it took me at least two attempts to get my name on the whole of the, the paper because my name's too blooming big. So, yeah, that was annoying. I thought I was actually going to screw up the other part of the letter, the actual writing to Rem, but no, that was easy, kind of. I mean, I kind of hit a wall every now and again. I was like, what do I say? <laughs> but apart from that. So this week, the reason that um, there wasn't much footage filmed, well, last week, technically, um, my internet decided to have a bit of a breakdown <laughs> and uh, it broke for like a week which legit broke for a week and the whole thing was flashing red I think I might have filmed that and it was just red the entire time so I had to call BT and they had to try and fix it and there was some sort of fault on the line in my local area so they were trying to fix it and then they sent me this mini hub thing to use so I had that for a little while but it yeah, it wasn't that great for uploading vlogs and things and I didn't want to use it for uploading vlogs and editing on it because I didn't know if it would cost me or not so I kind of used it very wisely and then my phone broke the phone that I got from my friend that broke and completely just stopped working on me one day I was just scrolling through Instagram next minute black screen and I couldn't seem to switch it on I couldn't seem to charge it nothing was working so that was really really annoying um I don't know what happened to it um and there's no point in getting a fix because I've had all sorts of problems with that phone since the day I got it so I just thought you know what I'm just gonna get a new phone which I did which arrived at the end of last week so that's why there's not been Nutty Granny videos and vlogs because everything's just been a bit <laughs> So yeah, now you know, I wasn't being lazy honest, it was just generally the technology of today was a little bit rubbish, so yeah. We shall go for a walk, I'm gonna shush now because you're probably really bored listening to me. Can I help you? Did you went out for a walkie? You wanna go for a walk? <laughs> Bye then. Darling, you sent me. I know you sent me. What's your ball? What's your ball? What's your
Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday. So currently out for little days ago. She's <laughs> over there. <laughs> Way ahead. I've got my new top on today. Reminds me of an old blouse I used to have years ago. If you're a long time viewer, you might know what blouse I'm talking about. But it was like blue and red. It was a bit like this, but with red stripes on it. So I thought I would merge this vlog with last week's vlog. Seem we didn't have the easiest time trying to get this vlog up. So my internet has been going up quite badly this last week. So I thought I'd try and give it a rest for a few days and then try and get the vlog back up again in a few days so hopefully if you're watching this it's on, it's on, it's live <laughs> and it got to this point it's probably near the end of the vlog so a bit of luck for being now we're getting to a busy world but um yeah so we're just heading to my favourite place at the moment um haven't been down here in which we I think since like August, October last year, or maybe November or something, but it seemed it's a hot 22 degree day. I thought, you know what, screw it, let's do it, let's go. Well, I am really tired, but uh, I've got my, my music on, so I'm pumped. Let's do this. Heading back home now. Boy, do I wish I brought some water with me. I am thirsty and tired. <laughs> me and Daisy are gonna go get Ruby and I'm gonna take her out, but I don't think I'm gonna go as long as a walk with Ruby as I did with Daisy. I didn't even plan this walk with Daisy, it was just kind of spur of the moment. I was just like, oh, it's sunny, we'll go here. And then here became a bit more further and <laughs> further. So, if the sun's setting, it's getting a bit cooler, so that's good. Hopefully it won't be 22 degrees for long. <laughs> the sun's in my cornea, so... <laughs> Welcome to Friday. So I'm kind of out a bit late today. Um, I've been doing lots of tidying up around the house. I had lots of cardboard boxes that were kind of like mounting up. And uh, so today's mission has been moving them and recycling them. But my green bin is full, so I've got nowhere to put my actual house rubbish. So I had to go out with Daisy for a little walk and uh, put them in a local bin hopefully I don't get into trouble for that <laughs> but I've had legit no choice in the matter so needs must <laughs> finally in the shade I think Daisy is very happy you happy? yeah you're walking shore today huh? I think like me she's pretty tired <laughs> <laughs> Poor Daisy, I think she's kind of tired because it is kind of hot. Yet again, like yesterday, I'm regretting I didn't take a drink with me. I should drink more water. That's one of my things I need to work on this year. Just drink more water. Terrible for not drinking enough water. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what's the things that you should work on. Let me know. Welcome to Sunday. So as you just seen, 
Today's job has started with me fixing the back gate. Now, I don't know if I said anything in the vlog this last week, but basically, Ruby has been escaping from the back garden for the last, I don't know, month, maybe two months. And my cousin's either been bringing her back home or I've been calling her and wondering where she is. I'm going out looking for her and she's met me somewhere coming, running home. So, yeah, that's been happening a lot. So, I bought some mess and I thought, right, this will do the trick and everything. And me and my cousin tried to put it on the back gate. But it didn't work because the mess is really, really small and the holes are like mini, like squared. So they're proper tiny, you couldn't get a ship to iron them or anything for that matter. So then we thought, right, we'll try with a piece of board and we tried with a piece of board. But because of the surface, it was too uneven, so a board wouldn't work. So then today I had the brainwave off. Basically, I had this baby gate when I was a, a little baby that my mum used to put around the house. And I think in latter years, it was kind of more used for puppies so they wouldn't get through to certain rooms. So what she did was she put some green sort of plastic kind of like stuff on it. So that it was covering the, the gap so no puppies or whatever could go through it. I had the brainwave today, but I could use that. But I was trying to think of where I saw that before, and I was like, I've seen that somewhere. Then I realised the old baby gate thing. So I took it apart, took the mess off, well, it's not mess, but the plastic stuff off it, and I put it on the back gate. And as you saw, it worked perfectly. It was the perfect fit, everything. Like, perfect. You couldn't have written it better. So now we're going to let the dogs finally go back in the back garden. <sighs> I can't tell you how relieved I am because I'm so fed up of standing out in the front garden every single day, morning and night, and then monitoring them for not doing things they shouldn't be doing and escaping and all sorts of things. So it's been a bit of a hell this last week <laughs> with them, but now we're going to get out to the garden. So without further ado, let's see them in the back garden again. I would say that was a success. No dogs escaped. They did sniff it, but I'm thinking they're probably wondering why does something smell for house when it's outside? <laughs> 